Okay. Today we are trying to control the UR5E robot that is right in front of me externally using an Ethernet cable. Let's start the external communication or external control. It says through an error the connection to the remote PC it couldn't be established. So let's stop the program. This might be due to uh, not starting the uh, UR5E um, driver on the machine. Let's do that. So here you can see I have a command to launch my UR5 robot driver. Let me start it. And now you can see that uh, my UR5E, sorry, Universal Robot Driver got started. I'm still waiting to see if it, if it says, if it tells me any command that the robot is ready, something like that. Okay. I don't see any commands that it says the robot is ready, something like that. So let me start this program. You can see I started this program here externally and it is running fine. Let's see if we say anything on the UR5 driver or universal robot driver. It says it says ready to receive commands is great that means our ur5 robot is ready to do, give commands now we want to make sure that uh, we have some motion planning algorithms available so we're going to use a software called move it um, move it allows us to path to path motion planning on ur5 e and it says the move it is ready to do pl some planning at the same time we use software called arvis where we move the robot uh, in the simulation and then when we execute the simulation the robot will move in real time now you can see on the screen you don't see UR5 yet it's due to uh, an issue with the uh, fixed frame usually fixed frame is nothing but the base of the robot now the error is gone and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our uh, motion planning motion planning um, UI to the frame and you can see as soon as I added the motion planning I got my robot here so it's dark that's what that's how it works and in the background you can see both these robots are in the same have same joint positions or joint angles something like that this is due to which means it confirms us that the UR5 is sending the necessary information like joint angles to us and the RVs was able to read it. Now what we are what I'm trying to do is I want to move in RVs and then uh, in RVs I basically plan my algorithm and then the, when I hit execute when I hit execute here I, uh, the robot the behind my monitor that is the your 5e -E, will move now let me change my planning group to manipulator which helps me which allows me to uh, move the robot you also want to reduce my velocity scaling to 0.5 or acceleration scaling to 0.5 so that like the robot will move slowly and joints are not affected by it let's see I'm gonna move my robot a little bit let's see I moved it randomly I didn't do any much preparation about that okay that's not safe for me if it is going as it's going to hit the table which I has placed maybe I should do something different 
you know, change the orientation of the bottom, something like that. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is too risky. You want to move away as much as possible. Let's see if this planning. Okay, this is great. If you see here, when I hit plan, it's moving at a greater speed. Even though I reduce my velocity scaling, I'm afraid I want to make sure reduce my velocity and acceleration scaling. I want to use my partition path and collision aware inverse kinematics for safety and also approx inverse kinematic solutions for safety. Um, so if you see, you notice that I have my execute command ready to go. Um, I, my planning looks good. However, I want to make sure that I don't have any errors in my algorithms. Um, I still have robot ready command on the communication channel with the uh, UR5 via universal robots. I can see that, you know, my solution says it has solution found by one or more threads, which is good. It's just taking very minimal amount for the path planning because it's just a moving task. I don't see any errors on my RVs. That means um, it doesn't have any constraints moving in that way. So let's uh, get to the business. I want to double check one more. Just want to make sure I'm not messing my robot. Okay. Yeah, it's moving very slowly because I have added my all these safety checks. That is why it is really moving slowly, making sure that it is taking all the joint angles, blah, blah. Let's see if it works. I hope it works. Execute. I want to click the execute. Okay. Let me fall back a little bit to see how much lag it has or something like that. Basically, it has almost real time. Maybe a couple of uh, minute milliseconds lag, but it executes in real time. That's it. Thank you.